Hi guys, it's Ben from 24-7 Me here, and sorry it's been a while, but I'm back today with an unboxing and a review of the new Mi Band 3. Now, Xiaomi recently announced this, it went on sale in China yesterday, and so I picked this one up from the uh, local store, and let's take a look. Uh, usual Xiaomi packaging, as we can see, and if let's uh, open it up now. So straight away we can see that the design is very similar to the Mi Band 2, just with some slight improvements, and we'll go through that later. So here we have the uh, watch face, the band face, inside the strap, uh, very similar to the Mi Band 2 there, and under here we should have the charging cable, and we'll look at that in a minute. As usual, nothing else in the box other than some instructions, plenty of instructions here, all in Chinese. So if you get this, feel free to read it. And if not, everything else is pretty straightforward because you set it all up with the app. So no real problem if you don't understand this. Pop that to one side. First, we'll have a look at the charging cable. Similar to the one of the Mi Band 2 and the One and One S, it's not compatible with the others because it's a slightly larger face. So you need to use this new band with the uh, Mi Band 3. The strap, very similar to the design of the uh, Mi Band 2 strap. A uh, nicer type of rubber. I got through quite a few of the Mi Band 2 ones because they were snapping, um, but this feels much better quality and similar detailing as on the Mi Band 2. Now the face of the band, we can see a similar design here. If I just pop this out, at first glance it might be a similar look to the Mi Band 2, but if we look a little bit closer, we can see it is actually curved edges around the uh, around the sides. And rather than have a button that is a different material, it's just slightly indented. I don't know if you pick this up on the camera. Um, and also the big difference is the size of the LCD screen, obviously shown by the sticker here. And if I just take that off, you might be able to see uh, the color of the LCD screen behind. Um, yeah, lovely, slightly bigger than the one on the Mi Band 2. I'm gonna look at that a little bit more. So there we have it, similar to the previous band you pop this in from the back best way is uh, use the, put the button facing down towards the holes just pop that in there much snugger fit no way of this falling out uh, which did happen before on the Mi Band 2 so yeah much better now we're just going to connect this up to my phone and then we'll take you through the settings and the different functions So while it's updating the software, we can just have a look at the previous bands. Here we have the 1S, this was just a standard fitness tracker, no screen, just a few LED lights. Then came the Mi Band 2, they added a small LCD screen and slightly improved the heart rate tracking on this. It was really useful having the screen, but we can see the big difference now in the screen size between the um, Mi Band 3 and the 2. Slightly thicker, slightly larger, but because of the curved edges it really doesn't look um, overly big and won't be inconvenient. They also have massively improved the waterproof rating. It's now waterproof to up to 50 meters. Big improvement on the last band. So let's have a look what actually can be displayed on this uh, LCD display. So if we scroll up, we have a number of steps. We scroll up again, this is your heart rate. And then we go again, so weather. So we've got today's weather, if we swap slide across, we have tomorrow's weather and the day after tomorrow's weather. Head back to the main menu. And we have more options here, so let's have a look. We've got a stopwatch. So if we press and hold, so we'll start the stopwatch. Then we can use the touch screen to start and stop and um, pause and restart. If we do want to uh, reset the stopwatch, well, we need to hold the home button again. If we press and hold, that will reset it. If we scroll across one more time, um, you can do a find my phone function. So if you lose your phone down the back of the sofa, it will cause an alert to pop up. And different uh, watch faces. So let's have a look. We have three, looks like three different style of watch faces. And yeah, we think we can select to change the watch face. Let me just go back to this menu. And 
Yeah, if we go one more, then this is where we have notifications. Now this is where it's really useful, not just caller ID, we can actually see uh, previous notifications. For example, my wife sent me a message, love your new Mi Band 3. If you get a few seconds to see this, not a lot, maybe if you hold the screen it might stay open a little bit longer. But what can you do? Well, if you scroll back up, well then you can see your previous notifications. There we go. So you can see notifications from lots of different apps and then you can clear them all off with another long press. Very simple. Now let's just pop this on. I do have relatively small wrists, but it's not usually a problem with the Xiaomi bands. You have to have lots of different fittings. I really do like the difference in the rubber this time. It, it definitely feels more durable, and much more comfy, and I love the rounded edge on the face. It's a, a big improvement and nice little detail in here. I'm glad this is the same colour as the band, which was different on the first one. Now, if you're not familiar with the Mi Fit app, this is where you can change all the settings. So the notifications, for example, you can change the, if you have an incoming call, it can vibrate. How soon after the call, it can vibrate. You can have event reminders. You can set multiple alarms on here. Um, and also you get different app alerts. Now, depending on what apps are installed, things like WeChat and Skype here that I've set up, also WhatsApp and other apps, depending on what you've got installed on your phone, you can also uh, have app alerts for that. The yeah, idle alert is good, maybe if you work at a desk it will remind you to get up and walk around. But one thing I do use a lot is the incoming SMS. Now this works for iMessage because I currently use an iPhone. This works very well. You can do things like with your email. And also the do not disturb. Now this is really useful because you don't want it vibrating at night while you're asleep. If you get a message on your phone, now you can turn that off. You can set a time when that won't happen. Scroll down, we have more information here, like whether it's on your left or right hand. And But something is noticeable about this that I noticed was different on the app is the heart rate detection. Now you can choose, it, it does give you a warning that it will give you more, uh, it will reduce battery life. But you can have it detect, regularly detect your heart rate, 1 minute, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. And all this data can be seen back within the app. Here we can choose what is displayed on the band. We can move this around, we can change the order of them. But something I can't find a setting for is to change the language. So some of these will display in Chinese. It could be because it's a Chinese version, it could be the firmware, but it is something to be aware of. So there we have it. This is the new Mi Band 3. Uh, just 20 more Chinese yuan than the previous model. I really think it's a big upgrade and it is a bargain for the 169 Chinese yuan that it costs. As for availability, it is only available in China at the moment. Global release, I'm not too sure at the moment, but it will be available on sites like Gearbest, um, I'm sure in the near future. But if you can't wait to celebrate the release of their new website, the English translation is going to be given away one of these Mi Band 3s. And they specialise in Chinese to English and English to Chinese translation along with proofreading. So all you have to do is follow them on Instagram, share the competition page, and you could be one of the first people to get your hands on this Xiaomi Band 3. Thanks for watching guys, any questions leave it in the comments.